Well, there were kicks, there were screams, and there were toys flying everywhere in the galley. But as I had to politely remind the crew, what the captain says goes. And sometimes you have to make some difficult decisions. It's a real shame uh, that we have to leave this place early and without really exploring. Uh, I'm really gutted that we haven't even gone ashore yet. I don't think we'll manage to go ashore because even that is quite a challenge from here. Uh, the swell has calmed down a little bit since when we arrived yesterday, but the forecast, the surfing forecast, which I'm now reading instead of the weather forecast, uh, is telling us that it's going to really pick up overnight tonight. Uh, so it's really a trade-off uh, between whether we put the stern anchor out, try and get ourselves as comfortable as possible, and then stay for a week plus because there's no good winds to sail on with, or whether we cut our losses and ride the last good winds tonight uh, down to the next anchorage, which is 70 miles away. So that's really not a distance that we want to motor as a plan B. Uh, so while this place is lovely, we don't really want to commit to staying here uh, tied up for a week uh, and rocking around like crazy. So uh, we've made the reluctant decision to carry on. I mean, I just want to turn up with perfect winds and no motoring and then have a flat calm anchorage when I get there, sheltered, possibly with locals rowing up with like bunches of grapes and bananas and stuff like that. Is that too much to ask? I know, right? I have no more toys to throw. <laughs> Literally, all of my toys have gone floating. And uh, it's a real shame because the backdrop behind us is just so beautiful. It's a stunning empty beach with palm trees. Hmm. I thought he was talking about me when he said that the backdrop is stunningly beautiful. And uh, if it wasn't for the weather and the swell, it's somewhere that I could imagine staying for quite some time. Uh, hopefully there'll be more places like this as we go south. Well, day one in paradise. And guess what? We are leaving. The captain made a snub decision that um, we need to leave without any voting, no democratic input from the first mate. Can you believe that? Uh, it's quite swelly here. It's very rolly. And uh, the weather forecast is actually predicting that the swell is going to increase by additional two to three feet over the next two days. So we've got another 70 mile hop to go today. Another overnighter panic last minute rush so i'm gonna do a quick carry for the journey and um, we're gonna set sail into the sunset again the wind is already at seven and a half knots so it should be a good start i got him to do the monkey snubber this time not wearing my t-shirt anymore you see lost all my power we've got good wind so the conditions are perfect for sailing off the anchor again This way. Wow, this is going very good today. So far, only one tack. We're right on top of it now. Wow, this is definitely one of our best. One and a half tack. And we are off! Well done, Captain! Thank you! One of those days where the captain's earned his t-shirt. <laughs> Everything behaved just perfectly today, including my assistant on the bow. The wind was perfect as well, so we could just like zip straight out as soon as it was on deck. Doesn't get better than that. Today is going to be 70 mile passage to Isla Grande. This is another overnight. I was promised no overnights in Mexico, but look, every other day we are doing overnight passage. But I understand, we need to utilize the wind. So looking forward to get to Zihuatanejo and Isla Grande, and we're going to slow down a bit. Because in the last 10 days, we've covered 360 miles. So, uh, definitely time to slow down. Those margaritas and tacos, they're not gonna consume themselves, are they? I want a palababa, palm trees, and 
calm and courage. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? <laughs> and just maybe a hotel nearby so we can steal free Wi-Fi. And go to the pool. You know, <laughs> looking for another virgin. I don't think we're very demanding, are we? That's not bad. A couple of schoolboy errors on the captain's part, getting the sheets tangled and on the wrong side of the Genoa. But she's up. And uh, we've got another couple of knots. Well, this is exactly how the captain was hoping the sail would go. It's feet on the teak, hand on the winch, sun out, flat sea. It's pretty good. Um, we've done really well. Uh, the sea is, is behaving itself so far as the wind is building and the spinnaker is flying just beautifully. Um, we've got one jibe to make. If all goes according to plan, uh, we'll end up about 15, 20 miles offshore, put in a jibe about halfway, and the next uh, tack that we go on to will be straight into the anchorage. Uh, at this rate, we'll be there about 2, 3 a.m., uh, but I have a feeling the wind is gonna die, so maybe 6 a.m. with the first daylight we should arrive. So yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic, can't complain. And uh, it's so much more comfortable out here sailing underway than in the anchorage back there, rocking around like crazy with the swell hitting the beach behind us. So I think the first mate was right on that one. It's 6 p.m., the sun is setting and we are whistling along beautifully. And I hear that there's gonna be a movie night later. Looking forward to that. Well, since we are having a movie night, I thought I'd do some guilty pleasure. Frozen bananas instead of ice cream Ooh. with Nutella and chocolate covered almonds. <laughs> Got that? Why not? Would you look at that? I'm gonna come back to the Bohemia box office more often. And you wait when you see the movie aspect. Very appropriate. The ocean's always trying to kill you. It doesn't take a break. You're on your own. There is no hope if anything happens. What did he pick? <laughs> oh my god, we're watching Maiden! I hope our conditions stay a little bit calmer than the ones that they had. Sunrise has started, half an hour to go and we'll be in the anchorage, tucked up and warm in bed. Just perfect. Good morning. Well, somebody had a beauty sleep. Guess which one? <laughs> Obviously me. Wasn't that bad. I slept throughout. <laughs> suddenly we're here, it's like magic. And suddenly we're here, ready to report for my duty on dropping the anchor. Well, welcome to Isla Grande. We are the only boat here and it's the weekend as well. So fantastic. I bet these restaurants are gonna become really busy Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, it was a beautiful sail in the end. Bit touch and go. Uh, we were bobbing around for a bit while the first mate got his beauty sleep, but the wind just appeared from nowhere. There was nothing to fill our sails. It felt like the dolphins must have been pushing us along most of the way. Uh, but we had the spinnaker out in the moonlight. It was just gorgeous. I'm starting to change my opinion of these overnight sails already. Uh, yeah, very happy to be here, but I am gonna jump straight into bed. It's my turn for the beauty sleep now. Can you tell? I've got a feeling we're gonna stay here a few days. 
because the anchorage is really nice and protected and I think deep down that's what we were missing for the last few days. Especially if these restaurants are cooking something yummy, then we're gonna stay forever! Isla Grande is just a stone's throw away from the resort town of Ixtapa and the city of Zihuantanejo. Its clear waters, golden beaches and many, many restaurants make it a popular day trip for a taste of island life. The calm anchorage as well as the mass of beachfront palapa restaurants enticed us to extend our stay here too and made the island a welcome paradise after all the overnight sailing. Happy Captain? Very happy. This is just paradise. I don't know why we bothered going to all those deserted islands with no one around when we could have had 10 palapas to choose from any day. I don't know how we're going to peel him off this island. <laughs> You'll see. Kicking and screaming, that's how. Suddenly it all seems worthwhile, those two overnighters and the long, long passages we've taken to get here. It's gorgeous. We've got some tough decisions to make. Cerveza, margarita, or piña colada. I don't know which one to start with. Life is starting to get stressful again. I may have all three of them in that particular order. <laughs> you know, when in Rome. This is some of the clearest water we've seen since we left the Baja. Seems like Isla Grande's got it all. Three gorgeous beaches, two safe anchorages. What more do you want? And more restaurants than it would take us uh, a month to visit. Proper island adventure about to begin. All 30 paces of it to the other beach. So I'm just minding my own business, walking on this island, and look what we found. I so want to take him on our boat. Can you imagine? Hello. <laughs> Pedro the pirate with its own parrot. Isn't he sweet? He's amazing. Hello. Meet Bohemia's newest crew member. Already a step up from the last. What are we gonna call him? Pedrito. <laughs> we later learned that Pedrito was a yellow-headed Amazon parrot, native to southern Mexico. Unfortunately, their friendliness comes at a high price, and they are nearly extinct in the wild due to illegal poaching for the pet trade. Hola, 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 hola. I'm like a grand TJ, yeah? <laughs> Amazing. What an unexpected find, just inches in the treetops above you as we walked under. He was ready to perch down and steal Pedrito's hat, I think. This bay has such a party feel, it's fantastic. Seeing everyone coming here for the weekend, having fun. It's like spring break, Mexican style. Well, this is the life. The captain even engaged all of the shades that we were using in a Sea of Cortez, which only means one thing. We're gonna stay here for days, <laughs> sitting like ducks on, in a pond. That's right, shades are up, beers are out. Two well hydrated ducks coming up. He's a bit quack though. <laughs> Cheers. Join us next time on Sailing Bohemia, where Isla Grande has been really good to us, but it is time to move on. You should always be wary when this captain promises his best. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. Mm. Sorry, nearly fell asleep. Haven't had my coffee yet. I'm sure it's on its way. Can I be left alone in peace, please, and enjoy this? one hour of daylight that I'm allowed. <laughs> and now our engine woken up the giants. 
Welcome to Zihuatanejo. It's beautiful here. And the captain gets a wake-up call with his outboard maintenance. What could possibly go wrong? Seriously? <laughs> There's life in the old girl yet. I knew she wouldn't let me down. Special thanks in this episode go to our latest patrons for keeping Bohemia's crew sailing three sheets to the wind. Thank you to Graham from Chicago who is getting ready for an extended cruising season in the Caribbean. And thank you to David from Washington who enjoys sailing Puget Sound and the beautiful San Juans. Thank you so much and here's to you both. Cheers. Cheers. Oh god, that's El Strongo. I've got a flamingo in my eye. First mates for justice! First mates for justice! First mates for justice! Second mates for justice! I'm out! The Bohemia store is now opening its arms to oppressed first and second mates everywhere. Check it out at store.sailingbohemia.com. Where's a sudden gust of wind when you need one? <laughs> If you've had a second-rate dining experience at Pedro's Cafeteria, then please tell us about it below in your comments, and the staff will be more than happy to take them on board.